the Type 3, this one here, uh, it has the buckles on it. You basically want to make sure that they're very snug because when you go in the water, it's going to slide up around your uh, shoulders and all of a sudden now you're going to feel like you're uh, not holding it. Make sure it's tight to your body. Hi, Cole Waterman here from MLive. I am on the Saginaw River with uh, personnel from the Bay County Sheriff's Office Marine Unit. I'm going to demonstrate the importance of wearing a life preserver when boating on the river or the bay. And a couple of the deputies are going to ensure that nothing bad happens to me. It's the extra weight of the body in the clothes. Um, if they're wearing jeans on, a shirt, um, that, that extra weight, shoes, all that stuff will. Uh, inherent their mobility. Uh, the biggest thing is to get your shoes off as quick as you can if you're in the water, get your pants off, um, and bring your skivvies, and that'll help you float and sustain. First thing I noticed was how much resistance is added by uh, my shirt and my jeans being wet. Just just moving my arms and legs, there's quite a bit more resistance from them being waterlogged. Um, so the best definitely would, would help in that situation. Water was a lot colder than the average person would expect for you know, mid-June and being sunny and nice out. Um, if you're not a good swimmer, uh, or if you're any kind of rough seas, you should have your vest on. Any kind of emergency, you should put your life vest on. Uh, when in doubt, wear one. Uh, 